In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use the New England Patriots in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to take a minute and welcome all of you guys that are new to the channel and just encourage you to stick around and watch the entire video all the way through, and I think it will help you guys get a little bit better in Madden 18. All right, guys, so I really like to use the Patriots this year. I think they're probably the best team in the game uh, for a couple reasons, and uh, I want to just kind of go through their roster and kind of show you a couple things that I've been seeing uh, kind of how I use them. Now, this is for regulars. I, I just personally think that that's more fun this season because Mutt is just pretty complicated. So if you just wanted to get online and play with the Patriots, here's how I would set up their depth chart, their roster, and uh, and then the playbooks I would actually use are the New York Giants playbook and the New England Patriots playbook. So New York on offense and New England on defense. Those playbooks are, are have been broken down in our premium membership which you can check out in the description. Again, that's going to give you access to all of our eBooks. We're getting ready to launch two more eBooks, and we're also going to, uh, uh, I think we have two more after that that we're going to launch this season. So be on the lookout for those. And you get a one-hour video roughly every week that helps you kind of get better. So anyways, here we go. So Tom Brady is the quarterback, obviously. Here's what I wanted to share with you about Tom Brady. Um, actually, we'll back out of here. I do need to show you this because if you don't see this, this is why I, I settled in on the Patriots because of my opinion, I feel like there's a couple of things that can happen that would cause me to lose a game. And that is that I would have an overthrow, a fumble, like th those are the reasons that I get stopped on offense this year. So, or I would make a mental mistake and I want to put all of the accountability on me as possible. So if you look at Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, you can't use in regulars because of his uh, his injury. But what you can do is you can use Brady, and he has 99 short accuracy, 98 medium accuracy, and 87 deep. So if you sorted it, he actually has the highest accuracy in the deep category. And he also, like next to Aaron Rodgers, of course, but and he also has um, these two ratings here with the 95 throw power. So what, essentially what that means, the translation, is that – Tom, uh, Tom Brady is going to make every throw that you need to make. He's, he's the best quarterback that you can get um, in the regular head-to-head -head matchup. So, again, that's why I go with uh, Tom Brady at quarterback. And let's see here. I wanted to show you a couple of other things with this team specifically. Um, that's their running back. So if you notice here, they have so many good running backs. We know this. But you got to have you got to use them in different areas. So, uh, for example... James White, in my opinion, is probably the starting running back, and that's because he does everything that Deion Lewis does. The only thing Deion Lewis does better than James White is he has a better spin move. So if you're a fan of the spin move like I am, you might want to occasionally use him. But I would recommend starting James White. And then you have Rex Burkhead. Now, the cool part about Rex Burkhead is his catching, all of that, all of those statistics are going to get upgraded because he's been catching more uh, splitting him out at receiver, so his route running is going to get better. So you know that's coming. Fullback, I don't really use one in my offense. James Devlin's fine. Here's what I really wanted to show you is the tight end uh, game. So this is what they're known for. This is what they're best at. But what you might not know is some of the players they have on their bench. So you have Martellus Bennett that you want to start him at tight end, and your second guy is Dwayne Allen. So now you have three guys that are over six foot two. Okay. Then you have this guy right here, Jacob Hollister, with 84 speed. Uh, he has good acceleration, and the cool part about this guy is he also has 80 catch in traffic. In my opinion, he actually rivals um, uh, Martellus Bennett for the starting job here. Uh, you know, I mean, again, it's 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 really what it comes down to. I think Jacob Hollister is a better ca pass receiver than Martellus Bennett. And then the other thing that you have is if you wanted to run, you know, say you wanted to run a ground and pound scheme this year, the offensive line is really important. And the rating you want to get is just really good run blocking. This guy here, um, Tony Gart, you know, you can put Lyman here. You also have James Devlin you can sub in. So the cool part is Martellus Bennett has got the best run block for the tight ends too. So he's a pretty balanced guy. Julius Ed um, Julian Edelman, originally, if he was in this, I mean, this would be crazy, but he can't play. So we're going to go ahead and put him on the bench, and we're going to put Gronk in as the number one. Now, in my offense, the number one receiver is actually the number two receiver on the depth chart. So I'm going to go Gronk here, and then I've got Brandon Cooks and Chris Hogan. Okay, so that's kind of my lineup. The cool part about the Patriots is this year catching traffic is important, and as you can see, everybody virtually on their team can catch the ball in traffic. Philip Dorsett you have as a deep threat. 
Um, him and Brandon Cooks together. Philip Dorsett has 96 speed. Brandon Cooks has 96 speed, so you can do that. This guy here, Malcolm Mitchell, one of the hidden gems on this team, is if you look at his catch and traffic and spec catch ratings are pretty good. So there's just so much you can do with this team offensively. Um, but anyways, let's jump to the defensive side because you might think that they're not very good defensively this year, but they actually are a lot better than you'd realize. So the key with defense that, that I like to do this year is I like to put my best guys, that my best zone cover guys at safety because uh, I play a lot of cover two and cover four. I find those zones to be the most important. So you have Hammond and you have Malcolm Butler. Those are the two guys that cover the highest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sub um, Malcolm Butler out here. So we're just going to bring him down here. Just put somebody else there for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to put Malcolm Butler at the safety position for the cover two. Okay, so you have 91 speed here. You have 88 speed with Hammond, and you have pretty good zone coverage. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to corner, and the cool part about the Patriots with the depth that they have is you have people that can play in man. Um, as you can see here, this guy Cyrus Jones has 80 man coverage, um, and he also has pretty good tackling and things like that. So you can pl play him. You can also play um, this guy here, Devin McCourty, even though his coverage statistics are terrible, absolutely terrible, what you can do with Devin McCourty is you can put him at the uh, blitzer for the nickel 335 defense that we have in the in the premium membership if you want to. And what you would do with this guy is you could pl plug him in there. The, another guy you could use, though, is Jonathan Jones with 95 speed. He also has 68 strength, with his, which is a pretty good combination of, uh, of ratings that this guy has. But there's one other thing I haven't told you. The, the, the other key with this is, again, in my opinion, what I would do is, is I would sub in Cyrus Jones because – no one, no one really covers that well in zone. I mean, Patrick Chung is 79, which is all right. Um, but I, I would put in Cyrus Jones. Now you can play some man coverage. And then in this third slot, I normally go Jonathan Jones. This guy is more of a blitzer, you know, kind of hybrid player. But another player that you could use, in, and this is something else you could look for. It really depends on if you want to play pass first or if you want to play, um, you know, if you want to blitz from that position or not. Because these two players here, Jordan Richards and Nate Ebner, as you see here, they have really, really good hit power. Um, they also have pretty good uh, block shed, things like that. Their coverage is terrible, but the block shed pursuit, Nate Abner is, is, is truly one of the best players in the game uh, that nobody knows about. So I like to slide him in here. Patrick Chung kind of backs everybody up, and then Devin McCourty kind of backs everybody up there. So that's kind of how I would do their, their secondary. And again, um, you know, when you want to have really good block shedding guys and you can sub in. So the reason I'm saying that is there's just so many tools. Now, the one sucky part about the Patriots, in my opinion, this season is they have so many injuries that it does make it a little bit difficult. So like Donta Hightower, all that, all those players can't play. So what you want to, what you want to do is start at the, um, the middle linebacker position. So you go through and this guy right here, Mark, we, I normally like to use as middle linebacker. So I'm going to sub in, this guy right here, Mar Marquise Flowers. And in the 3-5 three, three, odd, the second middle linebacker is that position. So I'm just going to have him sit there. But this guy right here is six foot three. He has 86 speed. I think he's one of the better user players in the entire game. He has 70 catching. I mean, this guy never drops interceptions, okay? Never drops interceptions. In my opinion, hit power is not that important at the user position because uh, oftentimes you're going to be using the uh, – you're going to be tackling them manually. So, so anyways, that's what I would do there. And then what you have here is you have some backup guys that you can do. David Harris is a pretty all-around solid backup. And then the only, again, the only problem is everybody's inactive because um, they're injured. The left outside linebacker. Now, this is the player that's going to be a, a pretty solid blitz, blitzer in the nickel 55. So for me, that's this guy here, Cassius Marsh. He has 83 speed. Um, the other thing that he does really, really well is he has uh, you know, hit power and block sheds pretty decently. So... This guy's a pretty solid pass rusher, so I'm going to put him here, okay? And then the next position that we have to cover is the backup guy. So what you want to do is you just come over here, you'd check, because this is your blitzer, so you would check for, you know, power moves, finesse moves, acceleration, all that kind of stuff. So you would just find, you know, go through here, look at your guys, see what you have. What the cool part about these guys is their defensive line is surprisingly, they're strong. Um, our strongest 
point of, uh, of emphasis this year. So the linebackers are kind of weak, but their their D line is pretty good. So what you want to do a defensive tackle, you can go Malcolm Brown, but if you look over here at the statistics, you have Valentine for block shed, um, power moves. You know, Valentine's actually a pretty solid. As you can see, of course, he would be hurt, though. This guy, Adam Butler, 6'5". So anyways, you would just do whatever you want here between these two. I Sometimes I go Branch, sometimes I go Brown. It just kind of depends on the move. Trey Flowers is, is really, really good uh, for this defense. And then the best thing is this guy right here, Dietrich Wise, uh, with 85 speed, 71 strength. I mean, they got some really, really good Madden gems here on this team. So anyways, guys, that's how I would set up the Patriots depth chart in Madden 18. I think they're the best team for the online head-to-head. -head. Some people would say Seattle. But with the injuries to Cam Chancellor, Richard Sermon, in my opinion, Seattle is not as good as they once were. So check out the